Good morning, Steve from Portside. I've got the bait shop, convenience store off sale liquor one mile north of Isle, right on Highway 47 on the shores of Lake Mille Lacs. Please take the time to like and share my videos. Like and share the videos. It only takes you a second to do it and it always helps pump up the numbers and gets the word out a little bit more. The following, as always, is my opinion. And again, please like and share my videos. I'm doing a little different format today. This is not a live feed. I'm gonna record the video and then I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna be curious to see what the views are compared to my live videos. But then I'm also gonna try and throw it up on YouTube. So changing the format a little bit so you're all guinea pigs today. I'm gonna keep it a little more brief, not to waste too much time because if it's a complete failure, I'll go back to just live videos. Um, hopefully you get notified that I do a post, but uh, that remains to be seen, but we'll go from there. Again, my opinion as follows, um, I'm gonna get into some just some brief topics. I'm gonna start out with some local stuff. Um, we are looking for another team member for this summer. So uh, anybody that wants to work at Johnson Sportside, come on and pick up an application and uh, we'll see if we can fit you in. Pretty flexible on stuff, but uh, great place to work, according to my employees. So I always appreciate them, love them to death. Um, one more thing for locals or anybody in uh, the state of Minnesota or anywhere you find a marathon station, um, be sure to download the app, Make It Count from Marathon. Um, I'm gonna show you a brochure with a QRC code on it now. Uh, Make It Count program gets you five cents off a gallon all the time, cash or credit, right at the pump. All you gotta do is put in your code, which is basically 11 plus your cell phone number after you register. Very simple to use. You build points, you can get up to 50 cents off a gallon. So it's, it is a program that works, it costs you nothing. Um, and then there are in-source specials as well to build up points. Um, so it's, uh, it's a user-friendly program. Uh, most of my employees all use it. I got a lot of locals using it. Um, so I would encourage you to do that. Again, cash or credit, it doesn't matter. If you punch in the code, you save five cents a gallon. It doesn't matter cash or credit. So here's the QRC code. And I'm gonna hold that up for a second. And I have no idea if this is gonna work for some of your cell phones or not, but if, and maybe if you pause it or something, you could get that. But uh, it's the Make It Count program. Of course, this is backwards, so it doesn't mean anything to you. But uh, right now they're running a special that new members get uh, 10 cents off a gallon for the first four visits. You know, so I mean, it, it all adds up. Uh, as you know, gas prices are stupid right now, um, but it is what it is, so. Okay, um, let me go through this. I asked uh, the last video if anybody had any specific questions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list a few of the questions that were asked. I'm not gonna address them, but I am gonna tell you that the video I do hopefully tomorrow or Thursday uh, will address some of these questions. And if there are more questions that you have, that you'd like me to address, just put them in the comments and I will uh, address them if they're something that I'm knowledgeable on or have a an opinion on, which most things I have an opinion on, but um, I'll give you as much knowledge as I can on it. So uh, here's a couple of the topics that came up. One is the water level, uh, which I can address. Uh, another is the Shiner Minnow Importation Bill, an update on that, which I can address. Um, another was uh, some updates on the MILFAC meetings, which I can address. Um, and one of the other ones, the bigger ones will take a little bit of time is a lawsuit update. Um, for those who are not aware, um, there is a lawsuit between the tribe and the Mille Lacs County. So I can also update you on that. And also there was some band management agreement questions uh, between uh, basically trying to explain uh, how the bands are involved in this and the representation and the management techniques and the co-management and all treaty management basically. Um, so I'm gonna address those uh, on the next one and it'll be probably a bit, little bit lengthy, but uh, if you got any other questions that you'd like to ask, pop them in the comments down here. Again, please like and share, especially this one, because I don't know how far it's gonna go. So um, we'll see, maybe the live ones are the way to go, but uh, we'll determine that when we see the outcome. Thank you so much, we'll see you soon.